I am at the Denver Film Festival tonight interviewing the incredible people here on the red carpet. Yeah, aside from screening our own film, I'm really excited to see some of the Japanese films that they brought here this year. Um, I know they're doing Boy in the Heron, Shiro uh, Kajikori is a monster, and um, Evil Does Not Exist, and yeah, Perfect Days. So a lot of really good Japanese films coming this year. But yeah, our film is kind of about birth and, and the interim of becoming parents. And we just had a baby girl last month. So. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah, thanks. Thank you so much. I have just a couple questions sure. for you. Yeah. Um, so, what are you most excited about for uh, the Denver Film Festival? I'm excited to really just get to go out and see a lot of other talented filmmakers' projects and hopefully meet them too and kind of talk about craft, right? Yeah, it's not often you get the chance to like drive it up with other producers, you know, they're all doing their thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. Um, what song would you want uh, playing to announce your entrance into a room? Uh, I don't know, maybe like Thriller. <laughs> that would be good. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, exactly. yeah. That would hit. Yeah. Um, so, I, my last question for you um, is, who is your real-life superhero? Real-life superhero? Well, today I'm definitely going to say Donna Khalil, because she is amazing. She's the, the subject of our documentary and hunts pythons in the Everglades and is, you know, fighting the good fight for helping our planet and in, informing people to, like, get out there and make a difference that it does actually matter it's pretty amazing I'm honored to have been able to make the piece and she'll be here this upcoming week that's also a big excitement <laughs> oh I love that yeah you, well thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me yeah for hope sure. you have a great rest of your night thank you you have a good night so what's the most exciting thing about being here on the Denver Film Festival? Uh, Violet, can you answer first? What was the question? Sorry, I came in this way. Your outfit is incredible. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. She's the best. So is yours. Yeah, we will. We have the same spirit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's no accident that they made the film about me, see? So. Yeah. Because we have, we all have this spirit. Yeah. They were, I gave them scholarships when they were 12 years old to the Young Filmmakers Workshop, which was a Denver film uh, program. And um, and so I've known them since they were 12. Yeah. And so three years ago, they came to me and said, let's make a film about you. I know. And I went, you what? <laughs> So amazing. Yeah. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, so tell her about your outfit. We have to talk. Um, <laughs> it's from the thrift store. Oh, yeah. 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 shoes from the thrift store. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Oh, 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 look at those. Oh, those are great. See, I wore cowboy boots. Yes. Okay. So I love good. those. To me, it's all the work pay off. So that's what that's what I'm excited to be here. So good. Come to fruition. Yeah, you guys. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thanks. We love you. Oh. Thank you so Sorry. much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. What song would you want playing to announce your entrance into a room? What song? I want yes. yeah. uh, playing to announce your entrance into a room. Oh, what song? Um, probably. Uh, Doing that song to the film. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a band called the Slants. They've been around since the 70s, and um, I use their song in the film, and it's called Doomtown. Oh, yeah, Doomtown by uh, by the Slants, an yeah. American band. Oh cool. Okay, can we come on in? Um, my final question right. for you is. Oh, yeah, Who yeah, yeah. is your real life superhero? Yeah, oh, yeah my real life, life superhero. Alien. Superhero. She does. I think. Um, Ellie, come here. Who did, who did the Barbie movie? Uh, Greta Gerwig. Greta Gerwig is my superhero. Yeah. Yeah. Well,
Yeah. <laughs> Love that. Thank you so much for really taking your time to talk with me. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you it so was much. Great talking. With you. First of all, I just want to say your outfit and your hair are incredible. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so, what's the most exciting thing about being here at the Denver Film Festival? Um, I think bringing it home. Um, this film was made in Colorado by a local crew and. This is our first screening home and it'll be our last screening and it's really great to end out the whole festival circuit back home so we can bring all the crew to come see and all the creatives so yeah I think just bringing it home. Oh I love that. Yeah. Um, so what is the hardest part about being interviewed on the red carpet? Oh gosh, I don't know, <laughs> speaking eloquently, trying to get all your thoughts out at once. Yeah, uh, yeah I think that's the hardest part, <laughs> trying to sound smart. <laughs> <laughs> um, my last question for you is, um, who is your real life superhero? Oh gosh, I feel like you probably get this answer a lot, but I would say my mom. She's been through so much and she continuously just walks and leads by example and has supported my dreams since I was very, very young and that's an extreme privilege to just say I want to be in the arts and have a mother that says, okay. I'll support you 100%. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for thank taking you. Me. Uh, Do you have time for just a couple of questions? Of course. Thank you. Um, so, uh, what are you most excited about about being here at the Denver Film Festival? Well, it's our what are you doing? It's our first time ever being in a film festival. And he's, <laughs> he's legendary, so we love being here with him. Yeah. No, we're just excited to get to share Ileana's story, and it's our first time ever uh, in a film festival. Wow, I love that. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so what advice would you give your younger self? Wow, to slow down <laughs> and fear less. And probably okay. lean, lean where fear is, lean into it and move through it because so much treasure is on the other side. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Um, my final question for you is who is your real life superhero? My wife Lisa, right here. <laughs> she is. She is. I've seen her be pregnant twice and have two kids and I've seen her deal with me, her third kid. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, legendary. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much for answering my question. You're welcome. Yeah, if any of you are interested in Ileana's smile, please uh, join us tomorrow at the Holiday Theater? Is that yeah, four o'clock. Holiday tomorrow. Theater at four o'clock. Great. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you guys. What are you most excited about for the Denver Film Festival? Mo I'm most excited about having everyone come together and watch so many of these amazing films and getting to talk to people after the screenings and see what they liked and what they didn't like and just getting to be around everybody. I love that. Um, so what advice would you give to your younger self? To my younger self, I think what I would say is listen to your elders. <laughs> uh, I, I often think now as I'm starting to get to an age where I'm mentoring younger people and talking to students of, oh, here's you know all these little tips and tricks that I wish I would have listened to, but that someone did tell me along the way. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, I just think you know being able to listen to people, take in those perspectives, and apply those things early. Yeah. Um, so. What is the hardest part of walking the red carpet? Not falling. <laughs> Definitely don't want to trip. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. That seems like it would be really <laughs> That's hard. Right. <laughs> um, so my last question for you is, who's your real life superhero? Oh, uh, my real life superhero is probably my mom. Uh, she is amazing and has taught me so much of really everything that I know and one of the strongest people uh, I've ever met and so I'm just in awe of her every day and it's fun now to, to get older and see that I've got you know all the same traits that she does at least the good ones uh, so yeah she'd be my superhero. Oh I love that um, thank you so much for answering my questions of and course. for making this happen. You're welcome thanks Maya. <laughs> thank you. All right have fun. So what 
advice would you give to your younger self? So, advice that my parents and my family has given me would be the same advice I would give to the young youth. Just not to really think too much about it. Just be yourself, act natural. You know, if it's okay to be rejected. It just means like you're too good enough for them as well. <laughs> but, you know, just to keep on trying not to get down. You know, to start small but keep working your way up as well because then you'll be here. Hard like this happens so fast as well. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's great advice. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, my final question for you is who's your real life superhero? My real life superhero? My grandpa. <laughs> um, my grandpa was my superhero. He taught me patience. He taught me to. Juan, I love your outfit. You look amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I like your top. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Um, so my question for you is, what was your favorite thing about the Denver Film Festival? Sure. Are you with the festival? I am. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Let me think about that. Um, um, this is our first time at the Denver Film Festival, and it's been a really great experience. Uh, I really appreciate the communal aspect they have to make sure that filmmakers and their audiences can connect. Oh, I love that. Yeah, well, thank you so much for thank taking you. the time. Thanks. Thank you. So, uh, what was your favorite thing about the Denver Film Festival? Oh, definitely the local film community here in Colorado. It's been so amazing connecting with other great filmmakers. There are just so many talented people here in Colorado, and to have all of those filmmakers come out and everyone from the community out here supporting Denver Film and Colorado Film, it's just been an amazing experience. Oh, I love that. Um, what advice would you give to your younger self? Oh, um, chase your passions. Don't be afraid. Um, I think I wasted a lot of time listening to what other people were telling me to do and uh, doing the safe choice. And um, it was only when I was finally brave enough to just branch out and try some creative stuff that I, I really found myself and found my passion. Oh, I love that. Um, my final question for you is who's your real life superhero? Oh, real life superhero. Um, right now, Greta Gerwig. She's killing it. Yeah. She's fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> she is. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much thank for you. taking the time to talk with me. It was so nice meeting yeah, you. Yeah, you too. Hey, you look gorgeous. Thank you so much. Yeah. I love your necklace. It's so oh, beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, so, what, uh, what was your favorite thing about the Denver Film Festival? You know, I think it's... Um, there's so much talent here and I think people here have a lot of love and passion for the art and there's a lot less pretentiousness than in other markets. <laughs> people just love, they do it for the love and not so much for the fame or the glory or the money and you really see that in the, in the local films. There's, there's a lot of um, just... Uh, just love and passion that is really infused in all of the films. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Um, so, if you could have any song playing to announce your entrance into a room, what song would it be? It would have to be the song that I played as my wedding song when I entered, and it was Here Comes the Sun by the Beatles. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah. um, my final question for you is, who's your real life superhero? Oh, gosh, I have so many. Um, I think my real life superhero right now um, are librarians, any librarian um, that are doing their best to save um, access to books of all kinds and um, making it a safe place for children and adults across the country. Oh, I love that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you so of course, much. Thank you so it. much. My pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. <laughs> Um, so, what has been your favorite thing about the Denver Film Festival? Uh, they take care of us really nicely, and I've met a lot of really great other filmmakers, so that's been the best part. That's always the best part. Oh, I love that. Yeah, um, so, what advice would you give to your younger self? My younger self? Um, don't be so stressed because things just like work out and if you just keep working hard and trust that 
you'll meet the right people and you just keep making your art, it'll work out. Oh, I love that. Um, my final question for you is, if you could have any song playing to announce your entrance into a room, what song would it be? Okay, can I say like a small curse word or no? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> Work Bitch by Britney Spears. Oh, I like that. <laughs> 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 well, thank you so much for taking the time to answer of some of my questions. Thank you for the questions. I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank Bye. You. So, what was your favorite thing about the Denver Film Festival? Oh my gosh, I mean, everyone here is so nice. I just flew in this morning, but everyone has been so helpful. I'm so excited to be here, and I just did a Q&A for my film, and it was kind of my first ever real Q&A, and it was so wonderful. Your team has, the team here has just been so astoundingly nice, and it's just so wonderful to be in a space where everyone loves film, everyone understands abstraction, everyone understands weirdness, and raw emotion, and sadness, and feel I feel like I'm with my people, so I'm having a wonderful time just being around everyone. Oh, I love that. <laughs> um, so if you could have any song playing to announce your entrance into a room, oh what my gosh. song would it be? Wow, that's a great question. I mean, I'm, I always love a little bit of Britney Spears. I'm really into her song, uh, Brave New Girl. I think I'm kind of being a brave new girl. This is my first time in Denver. Um, so. Maybe a little bit of Britney Spears. Oh, I you know, love get that. Get a nice strut in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, my final question mm -hmm. for you is, who yeah. is your real-life superhero? Oh, my gosh. Well... It might be cheesy, but my real life superhero is my mom. Um, she was a screenwriter and then spent her whole life working really hard, working lots of office jobs in order to provide for me and my brother. And she told me to always follow my dreams and do art and make movies. And I think without her, I don't know where I would be. She told me that I could make this my life and now it is my life. And so I thank her. I thank her for everything. Oh, I love yeah. that. <laughs> thank you so much for taking the time to answer my questions. Questions. Awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> What was your favorite thing about the Denver Film Festival? I mean, you guys know how to treat people. Um, you know, in the modern age of independent film, it's you know it's harder and harder to get supported as indie filmmakers, and Denver's taken really good care of us. You know, just making filmmakers feel appreciated and like they're a part of something. So, and then we've had two sold-out shows, very thoughtful Q and As. I mean, I have I have no notes. It's been perfect, frankly. Yeah. That. Um, so what song would you want playing to announce your entrance into a room? Can you say that again? What song would you want playing to announce your entrance into a room? Oh boy, that's a good one. Uh, let's go with Cochise by uh, um, Audio Slave. Yeah. <laughs> And my final question for you is, who is your real life superhero? Uh, my father, Stephen Lang. He's an actor. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Thank you so much for yeah. talking with me. No problem. Thank you for having us. Yeah. God bless uh, Denver Film. Thank you. Uh, was there a stand-up sure, cool. stand so, uh, that you saw this year at the Denver uh, Film Festival? There were so many. Yeah, um, of the shorts so that I judged, I loved um, Alicia. I loved the lovers i love um inglorious liaisons i keep calling it dangerous liaisons but that one um there were just so many good ones it was I mean, really hard to judge the this competition three of us, we come from different backgrounds um you know donald is a makeup artist sanaya is another journalist but we even just sanaya we both live in la but we have just completely different backgrounds completely honestly it was so hard i thought about petitioning denver to open up that category so that each individual subcategory would get an award it's just hard to judge a documentary against a narrative against the animated you know it's just two things it was an impossible job really great but also <laughs> Um, um, my you know, the messaging um, that we thought was important is, was really if you could have well, any so. Last question is like, you're from LA, saturated with film, Denver's not known well, that's a good film, question. other than like, it's been around um, for 46 years. What are your thoughts on kind of regional film Ooh, festivals? Ooh, that's such a good question. Do they still have okay, a give me a second. I don't want to spoil too much, but we found um, some of the Denver films to be extremely exciting. Um, and really compelling. probably have to be a Leah song, just because uh, I love her. Yeah, I, 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 not anyone. I'll be happy with anyone. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't have a better answer. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the people that came to the panel, well, let's make it about me for a minute. The panel <laughs> that I was on, uh, that I had uh, the day after I arrived, 
the people that came to the panel were so incredibly welcoming and generous and had wonderful questions. And there were usually uh, people that come to sort of make up and design panels for film are often celebrity driven. They were not. They were really refreshing and they were questions about movies and about designing makeup and prosthetics and character driven and that was really refreshing for me and I enjoyed that a lot. Um, so if you could have any celebrity guest on Wow. That's a tough one. When I was a kid, my dad used to play Petula Clark downtown, and I still kind of love that. Yeah, I love that song, and it still kind of makes me kind of happy. Um, and I think um, a lot of Nina Simone, you know, stuff like that, that would make me feel kind of happy. Yeah, yeah. But I'd say downtown. Yeah. Um, How about you? What's okay? <laughs> That's your Ellie Morris. I love Sydney Gomez. What is it? Okay, okay, I get that too. Okay, I get that too. Okay. So this is a special treat. <laughs> My final question for you is who is uh, your some really, real life really superhero? Interesting and important films. My real life superhero. Just filmmakers. Think about documentaries. Filmmakers really take. Well, you know, I have a couple because I go into schools sometimes and work with some kids who are interested in show business and movies and TV production. I gotta say, I think the teachers. They're my real life heroes. And yeah, I really do. Um, my question for you is who is your real life superhero? My real life superhero? <sighs> that is a really good question. Um, I would have to say my kids. <laughs> um, my kids always give me the most um, inspiration in my life. I always said it doesn't matter what else I did, you know, being a parent is always the most important thing. You know, I'm always. You know, we've always had really good conversations, even when they were little, you know, and uh, as much as you can teach a child, you know, I've gotten so much more out of the relationship than I think I would even imagine. So I think that's super power. I love that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. My pleasure. Thank you for the question.